Hey guys, I was just going to show you something I've been making for a while now. Uh, uh, you can probably tell what it is from the title. Um, I apologise if you think this is a, a making of video because it's not, at least not yet. I will be making the video of it, of me making it uh, in the future, but I haven't got everything done just yet. I'm still working on this and this is the Gurrenlagen drill bit. Oh, you can see that, there you go. Now this is the sort of necklace slash key used in the anime and I decided that I wanted to make it. So, uh, if you've ever seen, what's his name, Mike Cthulhu or something like that? Uh, you'll probably know him, an Irish guy, makes giant swords, he actually had a, um, he had his own, uh, what was it, Discovery Channel series called, I think it was called Big Giant Swords, but it was all about him making giant swords, but he's made all these different things, and um, one of these videos, which I'll put a link into, is making this drill bit. Now, I decided I wanted to give it a go, partly because uh, we've got the lathe here, and this is one my dad bought, and um, I have not used it very much, so I wanted a project to learn how to use it, that's where I started making this. Now this uh, is partly based on uh, based on the video uh, from Mike making his Gurren Lagann drill bit. You can see the two pieces here. Mine's a bit different because uh, you can see the um, uh, the bolt bit, which in on his version is attached to there and it comes out, and this bit screws on. Now, I've done it the other way around, partly because it's just a bit easier for me to do it. I've welded. Uh, this onto there. This was originally a bolt. That was originally a bolt. I drilled it through there and welded it on and then used the lathe to uh, cut it flat. And then I've used the lathe as well to should be able to see there well you can imagine uh, to put in uh, the thread. So that goes in quite nicely. Uh, you should be able to see all the different... Yeah, there you go. You can see all the notches I cut in. I used a file to do that, uh, which took a while. The main problem was trying to get these evened out. You can see slightly there's some markings on there. You can see those slight markings. That's what I used on the lathe. And then I had to make it go all the way up the piece, which was a bit of a challenge because... Uh, I wanted to try and keep that um, the distance between each notch uh, correct, which is quite difficult actually because um, uh, well you have to do it by eye and uh, I used the lathe to scroll those ones individually and then I put lines in it across and then, uh, you know you can see my inexperience with this sort of thing. I just got a marker and dotted line across. So I pointed up uh, the first line, uh, the second line, and then the middle, and I put a dot onto the piece, and then I matched the lines up so it would slowly go halfway up, then fully, halfway up, then fully, halfway up, then fully. Uh, it actually turned out quite well, this piece. This is my first piece I did. I just did this one by hand. Uh, you can see the sort of uh, brass colour because I was uh, brass plating it a little bit. Uh, this one, it looks alright, but uh, if you can see, just, you can see there, just as I'm turning around, it doesn't quite have that consistency of this piece here. That's the main problem I had. So this one is the second version, which came out a bit better. And I've got that there. Now the one piece that's left to attach it to is this piece here. That's supposed to slot into... Uh, it's supposed to slot into there. Uh, unfortunately, there we go. So it's supposed to slot into there. I'll use a hammer to match it up there. And that should go all the way through the middle. The only problem I had with this is uh, finding a way to attach this. Now, I originally tried welding it to this, this top piece. And 
Unfortunately, that did not work. I tried multiple times, but I only have a stick welder, which is, um, if you know anything about welding, uh, it's most commonly used for construction sort of pieces, and it does the job quite well, but the, the welds are quite thick. You want TIG or MIG welders if you want to do some smaller stuff. You get really nice. So I tried using the stick welder. It didn't turn out because I had to file away all the excess. And by the end of it, when it was small enough to look nice, it would just break off. So in the end, I figured out to use these pins on there. Hammer bit. And my two holes there to slot into there. The only problem I've made is this one's correct and that one is not correct. I originally did it uh, using the uh, pillar drill. We've got a very old one, which is quite good because the older the generally the older uh, machinery you get, the more heavy duty, but they're more well made than the modern stuff you get. Now of course you can get the really good modern stuff but that's really expensive and we don't have that kind of money. But the older ones are just as good and uh, that's how I was able to just drill those. Those are just uh, pieces from uh, nails I just clipped off but that's only three, me uh, three millimeters uh, wide but I was still able to get that perfectly drilled in using that. The only problem is that one came out nice but that second one I made the mistake of not marking out uh, where I was gonna uh, punch it I marked it out using a marker but I did not use a metal punch that's what you're supposed to do you hammer in with your metal punch and that gives a little sort of dent so uh, the drill piece will slot into it fortunately I did not do that for that second piece and as you can imagine because I was using a very small drill uh, drill piece, once it sort of uh, uh, went out of line, it started drilling a bit, and then I could never fix it again. So in the end, I tried filling it with some al um, some aluminium sort of epoxy sort of uh, material, but that didn't work. So in the end, I just went over it with a bigger one, and then I'm going to fill that in with that uh, very hard. Uh, aluminium e epoxy sort of stuff and then re-drill it so it, sh it should look quite nice when that's done so you know that needs to be as you can see that doesn't quite match up yet yes. yeah see it doesn't quite match up just yet it'll hammer in nicely but I do want that to be flat perfectly so it sits in the only problem I'm having right now is trying to get this black colour this sort of black metalish colour, which I've managed to achieve on this piece, as you can see there. But uh, it was quite difficult, and I still have no idea how I actually managed to do that because I spent a couple hours just trying to blacken it using heat, uh, you know, using the blowtorch and some oil and a few different things here and there. But really, uh, I managed to get this far. So that's probably the best I can get for that. So if you know any sort of method for blackening, a surefire way of blackening this, me this metal, uh, it doesn't need to be totally black, but it does need to be reasonably a dark sort of metal colour. That's the problem I'm on just now. But once it's done, I should be able to get everything put together. Now, it's taken a lot longer than I thought to make this really has because um, if you look into the the video of Mike making his Gurren Lagann piece he's already got the piece uh, cut on the lathe uh, he gets a friend to do it for him which definitely makes sense because it took what well, must have been about four or five hours to just uh, use the, the lathe to cut that shape from a solid block which is pretty unbelievable but um, you know, that's about the thickness it was at, and then just to to cut off all that excess it took quite a while. Um, <laughs> uh, yeah, it was a real effort, and uh, it only just made it because um, the lathe we've got only has um, 
you can change the angle of it to cut through there, but that's about the limit it'll cut through uh, at an angle, like that length or so. So we just about made it for that piece. So yeah, that's all I really wanted to show you. As you can see, that one's black. Uh, that one's got the, the brass sort of plating thing. I need to do it again with this one. The only problem I made with this is um, I got a brass brush and you heated it up and used it to colour that piece. The only problem is the brass brush I'd used was a bit too thick and that made it a bit more difficult to get the colour correct. But yeah, I'll get that done to get it into that colour on this piece, smooth everything out, uh, get that matched and darkened uh, once again. If you know how to darken that, I would really be uh, greatly appreciated if you could tell me how to, how to do that. And then we'll put it all together and then see what we've got. Once again, I will make a video uh, showing the whole process of how I made it because now that I've got this camera, I can do that. So, yeah, just wanted to show you what I've been making, what I've been up to, and uh, hope you enjoy the video. Uh, sorry if everything's a bit you know, haphazard, but uh, I haven't got very much experience in this sort of thing. So, anyway, thank you.